Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this microprocessor and microcontroller tutorial series. So in this video, we will learn about the differences between CISC architecture and RISC architecture. So what do you understand by this CISC word and this RISC word? Okay, so first of all, we have to understand the meaning. Then we can directly find out the differences. So the full form of CISC is complex instruction set computer this is one architecture where we have complex instruction set okay so we can understand that this instruction set may be complex one also may be simple one also it consists of some complex instruction architecture or we can say that this contains more number of instruction or large number of instructions it might have more number of addressing modes okay so we will see one by one in the case of risc this is called as the reduced instruction set so this is the reduced instruction set this is the complex in the case of reduced instruction set processor, the instruction format will be simpler, okay? We will see one by one. After going through all these 11 differences, we will understand what are the differences. So the first difference is large number of instructions and addressing modes. In this case of CISC architecture, we have large number of instructions for every type of instruction. We will have some micro operations also. We can write micro programs also for performing some definite operations. Okay. But in the case of a RISC architecture, what you can see, it has lesser number of instructions and addressing modes. We will see in detail. In the second difference, it is the software based approach, it is the hardware based approach. So RISC architecture is hardware based approach. Why? These operations are explain or these are simple in step by step form. The memory access is also limited to the store and load operations okay load instruction we can say so these are the hardware based approach the instruction sets are defined inside the rom unit of the processor okay in the third difference micro electronic circuit is activated by micro code to generate a set of control signals here we can activate the micro electronic circuit that the that will have the control signals so to execute an instruction a number of micro operations are performed Suppose in the case of sys architecture, we have one operation. Suppose the multiplication, we write M U L T, that is the multiplication, and it will contain various operations. Suppose the address fetch, register fetch, also it have. So in the case of risk architecture, separate control signals are generated by the control unit of the processor okay we have some control unit inside the processor and that will generate the uh, separate control signals in the case of risk architecture to execute an instruction there is a separate electronic circuitry in the control unit okay this is the third difference the fourth difference is a micro program is written using micro instructions we can use some micro instructions to define some micro program so new instructions can be introduced by writing micro programs therefore to make the instructions look simpler suppose the multiplication process is a long process we want to make it simpler so how we can make it simpler the instruction looks simpler but the complexity of the hardware is more okay directly we write mark a comma b then it will multiply the content of the a and b okay but this instruction looks simpler but the performance or the operations unit will handle it is going to be complex one in the case of risk architecture it is a hardwired approach or it is all it is also called as the hardware based approach and micro programming is not used here we do not write here we cannot define some uh, micro program by writing codes here already there is fine set of codes if the instructions are more then this approach becomes complex we cannot directly define some more micro programs in the case of risk architecture so this was the fourth difference so in the fifth difference we have variable length instruction format okay all the instruction format may be of different bit length it may be 16 bit long it may be 32 bit long also it may be 64 bit long also at the same time that within the same micro program or the same operation there might have different bit long instructions okay it is difficult to be managed by the program counter therefore the program does not know therefore the program counter does not know how much long is the instruction format is in this case therefore it becomes complex to be managed by the program counter so what is the program counter we know that the program counter contains the memory of the next instruction to be 
executed. In the case of RISC architecture, fixed length instruction format, it may be of 8 bit long also, all the uh, instruction will be of 8 bit long, it may be 16 bit long also, then all the remaining instructions also defined in the 16 bit format, ok. It benefits the program counter by knowing where to start, start and where to stop, ok. Now go to our, let us go to our 6 difference, in the 6 difference, the 6 architecture is more powerful, why more powerful, it has more number of instructions to perform various operations, we can directly write the instruction, suppose we have the division, then we directly write the division code, ok, division of code and the operand and then we can directly execute the operation but here we need some complex hardware to manage these instructions or to manage these micro operations inside the operation ok new instructions can be introduced by writing new micro programs here we have already seen this point ok so we can write new micro instructions to make it is a micro program. In the case of RISC architecture, it is less powerful. Why it is less powerful? It has simple instruction set and simple addressing modes. This supports lesser number of simple instructions. Most RISC instructions use register to register operations. Okay, in the case of RISC architecture, we use registers to store the values and then we perform the operation. We do the operations in the register itself. But in the case of CISC architecture, we perform the operations in the memory unit. We will see the later part. The seven differences, seven differences, it is slower. CISC architecture is slower. Why? Because its instruction may be of different length. First is the that one. And second is that it might contain some micro operations or micro instructions or inside the same micro program, we define some micro instructions. So each instruction may be of complex type. Therefore, it is slower, okay. In the case of RISC architecture, it is faster. Why it is faster? Because the instructions are simpler and they can be executed within the same clock period. And each instruction can be executed within the same cycle of the clock. Now, the eighth difference is the higher cost. The complex instruction set processor, the instruction set is complex one. Therefore, each instruction set we can define some micro operations also. The main reason is the micro programming. We can write some micro program to execute some micro operations. Therefore, it has higher cost. And in the case of risk architecture, we have simple instruction set and we have fixed length instruction format. Therefore, it has lower cost. In the ninth difference, we have the CISC architecture has multiple cycle instruction. Each instruction might need multiple number of cycles or the clock periods to perform the same instruction. In one instruction, we might need 4, 5, 6 number of clock cycles to perform the operation. But single cycle instructions are written in the case of risk architecture. In the case of reduced instruction set computer, each instruction will be executed within single clock cycle. Okay, And the tenth difference is the different calculations are performed in the memory. But in the case of risk architecture, what we have, registers are used for the various micro operations. Okay, Here we use different types of registers to perform the operations. Memory access is limited to the load and the store instructions. Only we use the load that is the load, one is the instruction and store is the another instruction to access the memory. Store means we will store some data in the memory and load means we will read some data in the mem from the memory. So these are the only two instructions used in the most risk based architecture. Now we have to know some examples. In the case of example, we can say here we have Intel 486, 386 and Pentium uh, processors, Pentium 1, 2, 3, 4. We have many generations of Pentium core processors. Then we have this Motorola generations and there are many more. Okay. And in the case of RISC architecture, we have this MIPS ARM. ARM is the most famous one now in the case of mobile architecture also. And we have this Sun Spark. Okay. In most of the supercomputers in the last year 2020, using the RISC based architecture, supercomputers are designed. So these are all the differences among the CISC and the RISC architecture. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.